And this just into Seven Newsroom. This part of the Big Thompson Canyon, this near Drake, partially destroyed during last month's flooding. Well, Air Tracker 7 giving us our only look at the area. Parts of the Big Thompson Canyon cut off because of flooding, temporarily opening up to residents. And Seven News reporter Molly Hendrickson joining us now from Estes Park. Molly, already some progress in that area. And with that said, they still have a long ways to go. Now, residents being allowed back into the Drake area, the more heavily damaged area, which is about 10 miles beyond this roadblock, but they had to be out of those more restricted areas at just a couple minutes ago at 5. Now, this is what the area looks like. Most of it still under a lot of dirt and debris. Trailers and cars overturned and smashed. You can see the piles from the massive cleanup effort underway. The water just tore away chunks of the earth, leaving many houses just dangling on the edge of the hillside. People are hiking to their properties because the access roads are gone. In the midst of all this destruction, however, there's already progress. Crews have already filled in parts of Highway 34. New power lines are going up. They've also moved parts of the river back to its old path along the highway. And Highway 34 between Loveland and Drake is still inaccessible. Some areas were told you can't even walk through. They're simply too dangerous. And information just coming into us next week and rotary volunteers will be available to pick up uh, debris from homes along Highway 34. Also, FEMA will be out in Drake at the fire station on Sunday, October 13th. That's next Sunday from 1230 to 5. You can register for FEMA disaster assistance or discuss your e needs, update your application. So again, that's all happening next weekend. Right now, however, the area in Drake closed off beginning at 5 tonight. Reporting live from Estes Park, Molly Hendrickson, 7 News.